what is a living shoreline? Is it a place where rivers meet the ocean? Where mangroves dig their roots into the soft silt? Where seagrasses sprout? Where fish hatch their eggs? Is it the tidal zone that blends the space between nautical habitat and land-based systems? Where tides persistently push water in and out of the estuary? Is it the place where birds come to rest their wings? Where manatees raise their young? Where the mystery of the ocean shows itself with small clues of life below the surface? Life that is much more complex than we could have ever guessed. Communities of shellfish that cling to the bottom of the sea and to each other create sturdy reefs like nature's concrete that builds habitat for other living creatures. Oyster reefs take on the role of the essential building blocks of a shoreline that is alive. Yes, a living shoreline is ecologically valuable, but the most fascinating attribute about living shorelines is their ability to protect coastal communities in multiple ways. Agencies like NOAA and the Nature Conservancy found that the presence of oysters stabilizes the coastline, the water column, and fish populations. Oysters spend their lives filter feeding 30 gallons of water a day. As oysters filter the water, they extract nitrogen and phosphorus so they act as a water purifier, keeping widespread algal blooms under control. Their ideal habitat exists just above the low tide line. When spring brings warm waters, oysters reproduce in the millions. Over time and with the right conditions, Oyster reefs become well established in just two to three years. As the oysters develop, the reef becomes a wave resistant barrier, a built in structure that breaks up violent storm surges in regions that are prone to hurricanes. As the shoreline becomes protected from erosion, grasses and mangroves grow and act as a carbon sink, storing carbon dioxide in the sediment and in their leaves. Of course, a shoreline with no reef is hardly a shoreline at all. A world without oysters would leave us with a polluted ocean, frequent algae blooms, expensive seawalls and bulkheads that run the risk of cracking and falling into the ocean, and a rapid increase of aquatic dead zones. For Tampa Bay, the presence of oyster reefs is a major asset to the community. On a state level, oyster restoration efforts are at the forefront of coastal stability projects. It is a green technology that costs $264,000 per square mile to construct and generates $5.9 billion for the surrounding community in a year. So it's not just sea turtle nests, coral reefs, or manatees that need your attention. It is also the ongoing oyster reef restoration projects happening all over the United States that need your engagement. Oyster reefs can grow in waters as cold as Alaska and as warm as the Caribbean. So when it comes to acting locally and thinking globally, this effort meets the mark.